Whoo, looking good. Look at that, man. Woo. Just kidding. Hey, yo, I got a good one for you. I got a good one for you guys. You guys are going to love this. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, man. We got an interesting topic for you guys today, man. I was hit with the inspiration of this one. Woo, oh my God. I had to act on it so quickly. Today, we're going to talk about Akashic Records. It's, this, is a, this is a term that's been kind of thrown around and people hear about it all the time nobody really quite understands it but we like to think we do it's really neat so the idea of akashic records i'm just going to get into this first of all uh take everything i say with a grain of salt this is all coming from my dome you know there is it is tied to uh, studies it is tied to studies and then i'm just expanding on on these studies through theory and and so this is not something that's been confirmed or whatever but the whole purpose of this so I want you to start thinking I want you all to start this a whole that's why I make my channel so why I come out here and do my riding rambles if you guys been following me for a while this is like episode almost like 60 at this point um, uh, we gotta just uh, I don't know how to explain it just waving to my folks uh, no no green light for me I'm just going anyways all right so check this out I want you guys to start using your brain because it is a gift that has been given to us man this is important you'll start understanding here in a second let me close my visor so I don't get bugs in my eyes so the Akashic Records is this concept this is a, an idea that is like can be portrayed as a library and I'm just saying that because it's the easiest way to imagine what I'm talking about it think of it as a cosmic library where if you walk into these doors you have access of course you have to search for it you have to learn from it but you have access to any information in the entire cosmos that's the idea so when people say they're doing like a meditation or wanting to you know open the doors to the akashic records and stuff they're essentially saying that they're wanting to access information and people could do med meditations and things like that i do this all the time meditations where uh where you're like uh asking a question trying to discover something and stuff and then you go into meditation and you put the question out there you go into meditation and instead of, and you're not like seeking to like literally be opening a book and reading it and stuff like or whatever and it's not gonna be like downloaded instantly but through meditation you'll be able to start to piece together answers to the question and a lot of times you can then reference it with things that we know here in, in, in life in this physical world that we live in and find that you're pretty darn close to the correct answer. It's a really weird experience. But so there's the, the concept of the Akashic Records is like this cosmic library of information that you can access, but it has to be through intention like intention and focus and and you have to quiet yourself it, it, get away from distractions things that are going to take you away from it it's, it's a process but it's something that is practiced practiced regularly and it's an it's a concept that has been passed down through generations and generations of ancestors and cultures and it just it's a constant concept that seems to show up in any any culture now I want to share this with you I've just had this epiphany so about what's happening when when you do things like that uh, there was some research that was done on DNA where they took DNA and and tested to see if they can upload data and the test was with this guy's book you can hear about this Billy Carson talks about it all the time um, you so they, they they tested to see if they can upload this book onto essentially like DNA as like a hard drive as a uh, storage of information and they were able to duplicate that book billions of times in space so like the like a single gram of, of DNA is is how they explained it first of all I didn't do the experiment I'm just regurgitating information remember that don't don't take my word as fact 
but it's cool. I just want you to think about it. So they took information and they uploaded it on there and were able to duplicate it and the immense amount of storage on that gram of DNA and Microsoft is testing like DNA, like hard drives and things like that. Um, it's just, it's, it's immense. And they, and they estimate that, this is interesting, they estimate that you can store like 13 something billion years of information in DNA that in the amount of DNA that the human body holds it can hold almost what science says to be the length of the entire existence of the universe in information and it's a really cool concept now mind you this sounds like pseudoscience it does to me too but it is interesting um, I, I just recently uh, upload or I don't know if it's going to be on the channel yet this one might come out first but I just recently recorded a video talking about archaeology and in the eye of the Sahara if that's something that you guys are interested in go look for it because it's cool I think I'm gonna start going down this path of just talking about things that make you think and make you feel like this world is exciting again because I feel like that's the whole purpose of being alive here <laughs> is to be excited is to experience it get rid of all the negativity get rid of all that doubt and all that crud you know and, and start to live life again and one of the best ways to do that is to be excited about it and want to learn about it so things like this things like the akashic records it's a really neat concept so i'm flying through this because i don't have a lot of time <laughs> and i'm trying to talk about it before i lose it um so they estimate that in the dna in a human body can store enough information to have essentially all of the knowledge of the entire existence of the universe which is really 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 interesting now also to tie into this studies on dna have shown that events traumatic events and and memories that are strong memories get encoded into the dna and when mom and dad get together and they make you those memories and those experiences and those in those uh events those traumatic events and whatever it is get passed on to you as a way of essentially saying their life and their experiences and their knowledge get passed on in the dna into you and that's not a hard concept to grasp you know we've got genetics everybody knows what dna is gattaca g-a-t-c we all know what it is um anyways so in a sense now what i'm doing here is i'm combining these two concepts so i'm combining that in the entire existence of DNA being passed on knowledge and memories and experiences and events are also passed on so in a sense today in my human body and your human body our DNA is storing information from the last generation and the generation before that and the generation before that all the way through which would make sense because they they're studies are showing that it can hold the information and the experiences and the knowledge of the entire existence of the universe it's really really weird all right now i have two concepts on this akashic record that i want to talk about and the second one is more tangible and it's more believable and understandable because again you know this is just theory but this next part is not theory. This is really cool. This is what I want you guys to think about. We all know that Elon Musk is working on Neuralink. An interface, a brain interface that can be connected at this moment through Bluetooth because it's accessible technology, but probably other forms of links that are more secure, not able to be hacked and blah, 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 um, to connect them to computers. They've done tests on this one fellow who uh, was paralyzed, I think, from the, from the chest down or the shoulders down or something. I can't remember his name, but you guys can look it up. You can read about it yourself. Uh, they put their first iteration of this Neuralink in him and he is able to manipulate the computer with his mind and he shows himself playing a lot of like Clash of Clans and things like that but with his mind sitting there 
doing these things. And the cool part about it, first of all, is that he can compute ideas and translate them into, instead of moving his hand around, moving a mouse around, he can actually interact with the computer faster than any of us can, even if we're professionals at it. Really cool. So, what he's trying to do is allow us to interface with computers at a higher bit rate. Because right now, the bit rate of using a mouse and keyboard is really, really low. Yes, technology, everybody having a computer in the palm of their hands has given us all access to whatever we want to learn or whatever we want to know. You can learn anything, anything with that device in your hand. A lot of you are watching this video with that device. You can go and literally learn whatever you want. You have unlimited access to at least all the information that is shared on the internet. There's a lot of information that's not shared on the internet that's probably really important too. But you guys get where I'm getting at here. Oh. As he's doing these tests, this is really cool. I'm just looking forward in the future. As he's doing these tests and developing a safer, uh, or, or a, a, like a safer, more accurate uh, versions of this Neuralink device, eventually, especially with correlations with AI, being able to have conversations with AI, imagine being able to ask a question in your mind to an AI device and the answer is given back to you in your mind through this device that's connected to whatever it is, whatever it's interfaced to. In a sense, this is really cool, get this. In a sense, through technology, the human race is going to have access to something that can be seen as the Akashic Records because Though, mind you, the Akashic Records of the Internet is just the information that has been stored on the Internet through the, through the time that we've had this technology, the human race has, uh, has built it over time. So the amount of knowledge is a lot more limited than what would be the entire existence of the universe, yes. But it's still, in a sense, an Akashic Record. This is really, really cool. By the way, Elon Musk, I doubt you'll ever see this, but if you do, sign me up. This is cool. The idea of being able to instantly have access to whatever we want to know without having, I mean, we already do. It's almost instantly because we can just search it and get an answer. But being able to speed that up to higher bit rates, being able to uh, have these conversations, and then as uh, AI develops and gets more and more accurate and more efficient and also the human race learns to prompt the AI more effectively because right now it's a skill not a lot of people have. If, you, if you've ever played around with um, photo generators, AI photo generators, uh, you'll find that you'll have this idea of what you want to see but if you don't write it down in words correctly you get something weird. And there's a skill to asking the AI better questions or better prompts to get better results that you're looking for. Of course, I believe as AI develops, it's going to get more and more accurate at interpreting what we're looking for, especially if we all got our own personal AI that develops uh, an understanding of who we are, the way we talk, the way we uh, share our ideas, that we will be able to uh, essentially get answers ourselves a lot more accurately because it's more in tune to us individually because we are individuals. We don't all speak the same, think the same, and share our information the same. But that's what I wanted to get at. That is the cool, cool part. So I wanted to talk about the concept of the Akashic Records and spirituality and then compare it to what's being built through technology today. Really, really cool. And the, and the coolest part, I think, is that essentially if the studies are correct with the information that's being passed down through the DNA, the proof that DNA can store information, and through potentially learning how to access that information, if it's through meditation or if it's through other practices, 
essentially we do have the Akashic Records inside of us of the cosmic universe the cosmic knowledge pseudoscience is very way off you know like way in the outfield there it's it it's very very uh, up for interpretation these are just ideas they're just ideas mind you again like I said I'm not a professional at this I didn't do the research myself I'm regurgitating information my sources might be wrong I might be interpreting them wrong all those are possibilities that's okay but the whole point of this is I want you guys to think about it because it's really awesome so I hope that has sparked some information with you guys. I was very inspired and I've been learning some things. I, I've been learning the way like God talks through us through these ideas and these sparks of intuition. And if we don't immediately act on these sparks of intuition or these ideas, this essentially ignoring God. And I don't want to ignore him. He gave me this idea. He's like, whoa, you know, talk about this, share this. This is cool. So I want to come to you guys and share it. I, you guys call me crazy if you want to I don't mind I think it's cool so if you guys enjoyed this again I also recorded a video about uh, the eye of the Sahara and how it relates to uh, Atlantis again the it is just like this I'm regurgitating information it is very possible that I'm not understanding it correctly but I, I want to start talking about things that are just exciting and cool whether it's uh, factual or not, it's fun to think about. It's neat to think about. So if that's something you guys are interested, look for that. And uh, yeah, and hopefully look forward to having a lot more like that because I'm having fun with it. So you're, there's going to be more. If you're looking for more, uh, then uh, yeah, do the whole like thing where you click on the subscribe button and click on the like button and share this out there so it gets out to more people. If it's something that you think somebody else would be interested in, then let them know. Let them know. Anyways, thank you guys again always for the continued support. I feel blessed to have you all here. Uh, just, it's been a long journey. It's been a fun journey. But this has turned more into just, I'm enjoying this. It's a lot less of trying to make a life out of it now, and I'm just having fun. And that's so cool. I think that is so cool. So, uh, the support you guys have shared has, has helped like immensely on, on continuing so thank you guys i am going to close it here because i gotta go to work i'm probably gonna be late today hopefully not we'll see i gotta go to work hopefully someday i won't have to do that so i could just stay out here and talk longer because i think what we need on this channel is more rambling right um no that might be a recipe for disaster <laughs> anyways you guys have a wonderful day thank you guys for being here and uh, i hope to see you guys very very soon in the next uh, video on whatever the heck it turns out to be because i have no idea <laughs> peace